Have you ever spotted a tiny striped critter darting around your backyard or in the park and wondered what it is? Well, let me introduce you to the chipmunk, a small but incredibly fascinating member of the squirrel family. These little guys are not just cute, they're full of surprises. Let's dive into the world of chipmunks and discover what makes them so special, from their distinctive appearance to their agile lifestyles. Get ready to be charmed by these adorable creatures. So, what is a chipmunk? A chipmunk is a small, active creature belonging to the Shuridae family, which includes squirrels. These charming animals are easily recognizable by their striking stripes and lively behavior. Chipmunks typically have a reddish-brown coat with distinctive black, white, and brown stripes running down their backs and across their eyes. In terms of size, chipmunks are quite small. They usually measure between 7.2 to 8.5 inches in length, including their tails. The tail itself can add another 3 to 5 inches to their length. Despite their small size, they are known for their agility and quick movements. When it comes to weight, chipmunks are lightweight creatures, typically weighing between 1 to 5 ounces. The weight can vary slightly depending on the species and the availability of food, especially as they prepare for winter. Chipmunks are found in a variety of habitats, from wooded areas to suburban gardens. Their size and weight make them well-suited for life, both in the trees and on the ground. They are adept at climbing and can often be seen darting up and down trees in search of food or to escape predators. Where do chipmunks live? Chipmunks are a common sight in many parts of North America. There are 24 species of these small, striped rodents in North America, and they are found in most states. These adaptable creatures make their homes in a variety of habitats, ranging from forests and suburban areas to tundra and even deserts. In the United States, eastern chipmunks are widespread, stretching from the eastern regions to Oklahoma and as far south as northwest Florida. In Canada, their range extends from Nova Scotia to southeastern Saskatchewan. Chipmunks are not picky about their location as long as they have access to food and shelter. They typically live in burrows underground or may nest in logs and bushes. If you have a garden, you might spot these lively creatures. Chipmunks are known to make homes in gardens, parks, and other suburban areas. They are active during the day, foraging for food, and often seen darting around with their cheek pouches full. Their presence in gardens can be both delightful and, at times, challenging for gardeners. What do chipmunks eat? Chipmunks love of food. They are omnivorous, which means they eat both plants and animals. Their diet mainly includes nuts, seeds, fruits, and berries, which they find in abundance in the wild. These foods are not only tasty for chipmunks, but also provide them with the necessary nutrients for their active lifestyle. But chipmunks don't just stop at plants. They are also known to eat insects, which are a good source of protein. Sometimes, when their usual food sources are scarce, they might even eat bird eggs, small rodents, and baby snakes. This varied diet helps them to survive in different environments and seasons. One interesting thing about chipmunks is how they eat. They have large cheek pouches where they can store food, they often stuff these pouches with seeds and nuts and carry them back to their burrows. This way, they can have a stockpile of food to eat later, especially during winter. In your garden, you might see them darting around, filling their cheeks with goodies to take back to their homes. Can chipmunks be kept as pets? Keeping chipmunks as pets is a topic that requires careful consideration. Firstly, the legality of owning a chipmunk varies by location. Many U.S. states and other countries have restrictions or even bans on keeping chipmunks as pets. It's essential to check local laws and regulations before considering a chipmunk as a pet. Chipmunks are naturally wild animals, and while it is possible to keep them as pets, they require a specific environment to thrive. They are active and need a lot of space to move around. A large, secure enclosure is necessary to provide them with a habitat similar to their natural one, including space for burrowing and climbing. The exact size of the enclosure can vary, but it should be as large as possible to ensure their well-being. The cost of keeping a chipmunk includes the initial setup of their living environment, and ongoing care requirements are expensive. Chipmunks have only been kept as pets for a relatively short time, and experts are still learning about their care needs. Therefore, potential owners should be prepared for a long-term commitment, both financially and in terms of care, to ensure the health and happiness of their pet chipmunk. How many species of chipmunks are there? There are 25 different species of chipmunks, most of which are found in North America, with one species, the Siberian chipmunk, native to Asia. These small, striped members of the squirrel family are divided into three genera, Tamias, 
Neotamias, and Utamias. In the eastern states of the United States, the most commonly seen species is the eastern chipmunk. It's easily recognizable and often found in gardens, making it a familiar sight for many. In western North America, the remaining 23 species are found, showing a great diversity in this region. These species have evolved and diversified, each adapting to their specific habitats. The Siberian chipmunk, the only species found in Asia, particularly in northern regions, is unique compared to its North American counterparts. This species is known for its adaptability and can be found in various habitats across Asia. How long do chipmunks live? Chipmunks have varying lifespans depending on whether they are in the wild or in captivity. In the wild, the average lifespan of a chipmunk is between two to five years. This relatively short lifespan is due to various factors, including predation and environmental challenges. For instance, the Hopi chipmunk typically lives for two to three years in the wild, with only about 10% reaching beyond five years. In captivity, however, chipmunks can live longer due to the absence of predators and the availability of consistent food and care. Their lifespan in such environments can range from five to over nine years. For example, wild Siberian chipmunks generally live for two to five years, but this increases to six to 10 years in captivity. The environment in which a chipmunk lives significantly impacts its longevity. In your garden, if a chipmunk has access to ample food and faces fewer threats, it may live towards the higher end of the average wild lifespan. However, it's important to note that even in the best natural conditions, a chipmunk's life in the wild is typically shorter compared to one in a protected, captive environment. What predators do chipmunks have? Chipmunks face various predators in their natural habitat. These predators include both mammals and birds, each posing a unique threat to the chipmunks. Among the mammalian predators, chipmunks need to be wary of foxes, wolves, coyotes, raccoons, weasels, bobcats, lynx, and even domestic animals like dogs and cats. These predators primarily hunt chipmunks on the ground using their keen sense of smell and agility. Birds of prey, such as hawks and owls, also pose a significant threat to chipmunks. These aerial predators can spot chipmunks from high above and swoop down at incredible speeds to catch them. The chipmunks' small size and ground-dwelling habits make them vulnerable to these swift attacks from the sky. Snakes are also known to prey on chipmunks, especially the young or inexperienced ones. Chipmunks have developed various strategies to evade these predators, such as using alarm calls and creating complex burrow systems for quick escapes. In your garden, the presence of chipmunks can attract some of these predators, depending on the region and the local wildlife. For instance, if you live in an area with a healthy bird of prey population, you might observe hawks or owls hunting for chipmunks. Similarly, if there are foxes or coyotes in your vicinity, they might venture into gardens in search of these small rodents. Are chipmunks solitary or social animals? Chipmunks are primarily solitary animals except during mating season and when raising their young. They lead mostly independent lives, each maintaining its own territory. However, their behavior changes during mating season, which occurs twice a year, once in the spring and again in the late summer or early fall. During mating season, male chipmunks call out to potential mates using a combination of chirps, croaks, and trilling sounds. Females respond with chipping sounds when they are ready to mate. These vocalizations play a crucial role in their mating rituals. After mating, the female chipmunks raise their young alone. The young chipmunks are born blind and hairless and depend entirely on their mother. They stay in the burrow for about six weeks and become independent roughly two weeks after emerging. During this time, the mother is solely responsible for their care and feeding. Chipmunks generally do not engage in social interactions outside of mating and raising young. They can be territorial and may show aggression towards other chipmunks if they feel their space is being invaded. In your garden, if you see multiple chipmunks, they are likely maintaining separate territories and only interact for mating or territorial disputes. How do chipmunks communicate? Chipmunk have a fascinating way of communicating. They use a variety of sounds and body language to convey different messages. One of the most common sounds you might hear from a chipmunk is a sharp chip or chuck sound. These sounds are used for various purposes, such as signaling alarm, establishing territory, or communicating with potential mates. In addition to vocal sounds, Chipmunks also use body language as a form of communication. This includes movements like tail flicks and ear twitches. These gestures can indicate different things, such as alerting others to danger or showing aggression. 
Despite being mostly solitary animals, chipmunks have a complex social structure and rely heavily on these forms of communication to navigate their world. They communicate to maintain social bonds, warn each other of predators, and even during mating season to attract partners. In your garden, you might observe chipmunks making these sounds and movements. Watching them can give you insights into their social interactions and how they respond to their environment. For instance, a sudden series of loud chips might indicate that a chipmunk has spotted a predator and is warning others in the area. How do chipmunks gather and store food? Chipmunks are industrious creatures, especially when it comes to gathering and storing food for the winter. They primarily practice two types of food storage strategies, larder hoarding and scatter hoarding. Larder hoarding involves storing all their food in one central location, usually within their burrows. This method is particularly useful during winter when they prefer to stay underground and have easy access to their food supply. Scatter hoarding, on the other hand, involves creating multiple small stashes of food in various locations. This strategy is a bit riskier as they might lose some of their food to other animals, but it also means they don't put all their eggs in one basket. As for their hiding places, chipmunks are known for their elaborate burrow systems. These burrows can be quite extensive, with multiple chambers for sleeping, storing food, and even disposing of waste. The tunnels may range in length from 10 to 30 feet, providing ample space for their needs. During winter, chipmunks don't truly hibernate but enter a state of torpor, where their body temperature drops, and they rely on the food they've stored to survive the cold months. This makes their food gathering and storage habits crucial for their survival. In your garden, you might notice chipmunks busily collecting and storing food as winter approaches, a testament to their hardworking nature. What a journey through the world of chipmunks, right? I hope you found it as fascinating as I did. If you liked this little adventure, hit that like button and subscribe for more cool animal insights. Oh, and sharing is caring. Let your friends in on the chipmunk fun too. Have you ever had a chipmunk encounter? maybe in your backyard or a local park. I'd love to hear about it. Drop a comment below and share your story.